And now the details. Librarians at the Central Bucks School District have been ordered to remove two titles from library shelves. Both books deal with LGBTQ issues, and it's the first book ban under a controversial new policy passed earlier this year. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson has details. The books pulled off the shelves are two of 65 titles the district is reviewing for what it calls sexualized content, meaning more book bans could be coming soon. You can go with that lens into any book. Holding her copy of Gender Queer, main target audience for this book. High school junior Lily Freeman is telling her mom how the book has had an impact on her life as a teenager in the LGBTQ community. Not every LGBTQ story is like mine. I get to see what other people experience. The book is one of two the district is no longer allowing in its libraries. The other is this book is gay. They are the first two books to be banned under the district's controversial policy restricting what it calls inappropriate nudity and sexual content. We found both titles at Doylestown Bookshop. In response to the ban, the district said in a statement in part, as outlined by the policy guidelines, our school librarians will now work to select two books on the same subject matter to replace each of these books on shelves for students. It's like a domino effect. Now, now that this happened, now what's next? What other books will be taken out? What other, what other things will this, will this board majority do besides, besides book ban? Action News talked to other people in the school community in favor of the ban. They would not go on camera, but said they believe the books are inappropriate for kids. The 6ABC data team analyzed book bans across the country and found Pennsylvania is in the top three states for banning books. That's frightening to me. Mindy Freeman and her daughter worry about how the ban will impact other kids. When the school board and administration takes that away from students, it's actively harming them and it's actively not making them feel safe in school. Five of the nine seats on the school board are up for grabs this election cycle, meaning Tuesday's primary could have a big impact on the future of Central Buck School District. In Doylestown, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6 Action News.